can see you're feeling it now, huh? All right, I gotta see this from every angle. This is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Doyle, you haven't missed one yet. There you go. Right hand under, shoulder down, and then inside, level shoulders, turning back. Look at that. That's my best one. Yeah. You don't need to do better than that, do you? No. Ah, nice hit there, Doyle. So, you know, for us to get even a little more into the grass, like we're trying to do with this five wood, or yes, yes. yeah, right, the driver we got, and now with this, I want you to to notice that you know you've got this set up same way, right, with the right palm under and the shoulder, and, and you know those those pieces in there. And then when you're coming through, uh, what I want you to do is to feel like when you when you unwind that you unwind in a way almost like a like a bowler. Now bowlers don't they don't finish like this. We don't, you know, don't, right? Yeah, down the lane, right? There's yeah. A different finish with that. Mm -hmm. And that's sometimes, I mean, that's a wonderful thing. You've seen Sneed, Sam Sneed? Okay, oh, yeah. Well, he had uh, a swing where when you saw him finish, he'd be like this. And I say like this, it doesn't look like he's back here when he finished. He doesn't look like this, like Jack Nicholas. He has a look like he's over the ground still and forward. Right? So it would be, if I can do it, right? And watch my body when I finish Doyle. Okay? So it's totally rotated, but more down. Oh, yeah. And I think if you stood even back here more, so with Sneed, what he looked like was like this. He looked like, you know, he did all these cool things on the backswing, and, you know, whatever he did there. But, after, you know, during the strike, it always looked like this, right? Like he was standing down, down like, a, like the bowler. Instead of coming finishing up. Right. How solid that was hit there. He's got a lot of altitude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't get the altitude by going like this. Because then I'm I'm trying to hit up, but the club's not into the ground and not staying in there, right? The Sneed had that look like that. And so did uh, Palmer, right? Yeah, right? Sneed a little more classy looking, but Palmer. Monstrously long, great player, handsome, like to smoke. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to do a little Sneed finish. Okay, so let's get in there and do, yeah, get in there and do a little bowler finish, you know. Stay there. Yeah, just do a finish and hold it over there. See if I can bend you around a little. Bit. Stay there. There you go. Can you release this foot? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Bowling down the, bowling down the freeway. So now you're just still over, right? Still looking there. Yeah. So it's an upper body twist over your feet. Right? Put the ball. Yeah. Right hand under. Mm hmm. You've got to do the whole bit about taking it inward this way. Go ahead. You're not going to hit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're just over that way. You're low, right? Right, right. Okay, okay. Be low coming in. And stay stay over, right, when you're turning. Okay, not, not go over here. You can go over there. But stay over the ball. Stay over the ball. Your shoulders are like... 
kind of over like that right shoulder when you come on down just pretend you've hit it go it's right here yeah see the shoulder here look over here look how much that's out over the ground here okay. it's not back here oh uh, yeah yeah that to me Wait. goes down right yeah down that's the down part. yes sir because the shoulder is going to be rotating back down the shoulder plane you follow me the sneed look that's like that yeah and the right shoulder down moving down and over the uh, past the ball you know okay. staying down past the ball mm -hmm. yeah. not not lifting up yeah now we're standing up okay so uh, let's see there you need a lot more of this here oh okay yeah 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 now this is ready to roll that way, right? So start over here. Yeah, start over there, tuck it in, bang, bang, shoulders are tilted that way, go. Here we go. That when you start this thing, you're going to feel like, that's that's how you start your backswing. You feel like going that way, like a little tiny headbutt, you know, just to make things drift. That's where my head moves. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. Be a little wider stance to support the move over that leg. So remember, you're trying to get go, 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 backswing, backswing, backswing. Yep. So I'm just trying to get you to wind up over there. You can see how you're, how can you, you can't lift your arms right now because you got your body over here leaning, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, that's the idea. It's a Clint Eastwood high plains drifter move. What we got? Drift that head over there. Right? So it's like here. Okay. Got it? Got it. Okay. Okay. Now you just move the arm. Yeah, go, go, go. There you go. Again. Oh, just rotate the foot. Yeah. Right. No. Rotate this hip here, right? Yeah. And now your your lower body is stable as far as like going side to side. It's not really doing that. Not doing the that. only thing that's going to the side is your upper body a little bit, right, when I'm like this. I'm rotating. not going like this. I'm rotating this post. Yeah, you're rotating the post. Uh huh. And sometimes just the right glute can be your your guide. You can turn your wallet pocket towards the other leg or something. But the wider stance helps, right? Yes. Yeah. Good job. Mm-hmm. So I was when I did this, it really I'm sorry, when when I did this out here for myself, I just kind of put it here as a stabilizer. This is kind of stretched in there, and then I feel like this whole left side's kind of uh, locked in. It's not gonna go around and stuff, right? I keep this like in the ground like this, vertical. Then I then I spin this side back, and I can see I think if you come around, you'll see my head move a little bit. Go ahead. Kind of stand like right right here in front of me, right here, Doyle. I think you'll see it. Yeah. So if I'm like this, right, and I've just got my hand out here like a tennis stroke or something, and this is locked in left side, and then I'm just going like this. Now, like this meaning I'm just winding my arm back here. This thing went this way, if anything, right? A little bit, huh? Just like that much. Mm -hmm. Now look at this. My uh, my left arm was just going towards the uh, straight out vertical or in a line that way, this side, to support this, right? It's like, you know, and the right leg was just like a post on a tilt. Not a tilt, right? Huh? A post, not a tilt. It's a, the post is tilted because our legs are apart. So it's like Eiffel Tower legs, right? Like this. They're not this way. Right, they're like this. Exactly. Okay, so we'll start yeah. like this. You got it. There you go. Don't even have to kick that left knee too much. There you go. Mm -hmm. And just keep your keep your gaze out here. Yeah. So we're not going to let this go like this anymore. 
Yeah. Is that it? Nothing to do with our pivot. Um, and for sure, it's Eiffel Tower legs like this. This one doesn't change. I don't crumble one of the tower legs. You know, I just feel like I'm um, this way. Bang. And your hip kind of keeps me, you know, huh? hip comes back. I kind of turn my butt Probably feel that a little bit, yeah. but I wouldn't, uh, yeah. I mean, you don't need to exaggerate movements so much. I'm rotating just a little Yes, bit. you are. You're not flexing that right knee and crumbling that tower leg, right? Okay. You did well, but you just did a lot. You know, you went like this, Doyle. <laughs> you were awesome. You're very flexible. You're very flexible, right? But you went like, uh, you did a lot, you know? This is how the legs looked. They didn't look like this. Exactly what I did not want was this, and you didn't do it. But it was so kind of like tweaky feeling that you lost balance or whatever, you know, in the, in the system, in the system, right? But when you have this here, I think, and you just get in front of a mirror at home, you go, well, that's, I can see that leg's just spinning around now. It's not moving side to side. It's not changing its angle. It's staying, yeah, there you go. It's staying at this angle here. There you go. Because you probably did more than you think, maybe. But your intention was. I start like this, it should kind of straighten itself up as I go back. Should. Uh, you know, you got a femur is stuck inside of the right hip socket, the right femur, right? It's a ball and socket. So if you're moving the socket this way, it's going towards the target. It's not going this way. All I want to, yeah. So it's going to straighten the leg from a flex position, right? Because it's pulling, it's pulling the uh, the femur head back that way. Yes. That's you know, what I felt. that's what good. And then you felt the right thing, which leaves the leg like the Eiffel Tower, just not crumbling this way. Right, right, it's up straight like this. Yeah, it's just hold its angle. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. Great job, Doyle. Happy birthday. Right. All right, here we go. You're there. Keep. You can see you're feeling it now, huh? <laughs> 